Good morning. Today is Friday the 8th of May, or VE Day, or Victory in Europe Day. And once again, we're taking time to reflect on the defeat of Nazi tyranny some 75 years ago. I, for one, find it extremely hard to try and empathise the true emotions that people would have felt in Europe and across the wider world at the conclusion of hostilities all that time ago. But I can also imagine that they would have ranged from jubilation to sorrow and, of course, fear for what the world might bring next. It is also extremely hard to fathom the sheer scale of the Second World War. This is a conflict which took the lives of military and civilian of an estimated 50 to 56 million people with an additional further 19 to 28 million who may well have perished from war-related disease or famine. But those fatalities also include those who fell or died during the war in the Far East. And it is important to remember that Victory in Europe Day did not represent a final conclusion to the Second World War. But that would not actually happen until September the 2nd, 1945, with the surrender of Imperial Japan. With all of this in mind, we as a history department found it quite difficult to narrow down a memoir or a speech that we felt appropriate enough for this occasion. However, we have decided to use a short extract from Winston Churchill's victory speech, which was delivered on the 8th of May 1945 from the Ministry of Health Building to huge crowds in central London. In amongst other things, he said this, I rejoice we can all take a night off today and another day tomorrow. Tomorrow, our great Russian allies will also be celebrating victory. And after that, we must begin the task of rebuilding our earth and homes, doing our utmost to make this country a land in which all have a chance, in which all have a duty. And we must turn ourselves to fulfill our duty to our own countrymen and to our gallant allies of the United States. We will go hand in hand with them. Even if it is a hard struggle, we will not be the ones who fail. That line, I rejoice that we can take a night off and another day tomorrow, we personally feel is particularly poignant given the current situation in which we are all facing with the current COVID-19 crisis. Winston Churchill also spoke about how the victory in 1945 was a victory for their generation. It was not specific to a particular class and certainly not to a political party. We also think that it is particularly attributable today Things are, of course, very, very different. The enemy in which we all now face is an invisible one. And the difference from 1945, of course, is that the nations of the world are united in their fight against this deadly foe in our own darkest hour. So on VE Day, we believe it is very, very important to celebrate the end of the Nazi tyranny in Europe and also to commemorate for we must never forget the suffering that millions and millions of people suffered the world over during the Second World War. After the BE Day celebrations are finished with over the weekend, we then of course must resume our own fights. We must remain to stay at home, to protect the NHS and to save lives. I'm going to read an account of the war by Charlotte Lang, who was a small child living with her family in Vienna when war broke out in 1939. Like 10% of the city's population, they were Jewish and had faced persecution since Anschluss in early 1938, when Nazi Germany had annexed Austria. I remember the Nazis coming. I think it was at night. I can't remember it that well because I was only three they banged the door down and arrested my aunt and uncles. I said goodbye to my grandparents at the station when we left Vienna. They were both later killed in concentration camps. I remember coming over to Britain on a ship and saying, I want to get out in the middle of the sea. My mother and I went to a big house in Hatfield where she worked as a maid 
and my father worked on the bomb sites on the East End. We got back together in 1942 in London, my mother and father and I. We had a Morrison shelter downstairs which was cast iron and we used to spend the nights there. It was terrifying. Going to school, you never knew if you were going to get there or get back safely. I wasn't really aware of what was going on with Jews in Europe, but I went to the cinema around about VE day. I was 10 and they showed pictures of Belson and I ran out. I was scared. It was horrible the things they showed. I remember how happy I was on VE day. At school, we had special assemblies and flags and everybody sang patriotic songs. Land of hope and glory, they'll always be in England, all the usuals. Everybody was part of it. My cousin also lived in Leeds. He came over in the kinder transport and went to live with the family. They had a party at his house. Big bonfires, fireworks, everybody was wearing red, white and blue and going mad. It was fantastic. I think nobody could believe that it was over after all that time. Everybody sort of came together. You can see from the newsreels, everybody was euphoric. It was great. No more getting up in the middle of the night, going to the shelters and looking out the window and seeing the fires. We were free.